Hey there YouTube, it's Marvin here again. Welcome to my channel, RUV Random Useful Video. Uh, today, I'm gonna continue working with the with this motherboard, the BTCD-D37. Uh, my last uh, video that I uploaded, that was about like making a frame for it. Now it's time to build it and uh, you know, like let it work, you know, and to make some earnings. Uh, I'm just gonna show you what I have here. Uh, I already installed the power supply. It just like I used the double-sided tape. I was thinking to probably in the future I'm gonna make a like a C clamp and then I can screw here on a both sides. I mean both sides so that I can easily remove it if I need to. Anyway, the power supply that I'm using here is like uh, 1,200 watts uh, server power supply and i have the 12 port uh, breakout boards i got all the wires there i already did some you know like wire management right there and uh, i have uh, six uh, 1070s i believe three of them are, uh, are ti version and uh, and i was able to get my hands on two 1660 super uh, cards are becoming available now so it's uh, kind of getting easy to get and uh, yeah this one here and one still in the box right, right there well guys it's gonna be a clean very clean in, uh, build because we don't have risers we don't need risers usb cable those mess, messy usb cables all we all all the cables we have is like what well, like eight eight that is sixteen. All right, without further delay, let's start building. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is to plug the uh, breakout board. Well, just to let you know, guys, that I already have. Well, of course, install the memory. It's a 4 GB memory and then the SSD. I already installed Windows 10 in it and then also the Quick Miner, nice sharp Quick Miner. Okay, so let's uh, plug in the breakout board. If you can see that. It's right there. Oh, just to show you guys that the, the, the frame that I built, if you guys wanted to use the regular ATX power supply, there's plenty of room. The height is just still gonna fit underneath. As you can see right there. Alright, uh, this second thing I'm gonna do is to install, uh, plug all the wires, and then after that, I'm gonna, of course, install all the GPUs, and then I think that's pretty much it anyway. Okay, we did some. A little bit of wire management and I think that's pretty much it all right so plug in all the wires So this wires is gonna supply the the GPU. So that's the six pins and the eight pins on the other end. Okay. 
I shouldn't do this because I have to locate the wire to a specific, uh, to specific uh, slots, but I think it's easy. Kind of slide it in a way. So I'm going to go this side. Also, eight six means wires.
Okay guys, it's done. So I want to show you here, I kind of just dis uh, distributed the connectors right there. Like I have, like it has 12, so I only use eight of them. So like, as you can see, like I plug in on both sides. And uh, yeah, these wires here, it doesn't matter where it goes, because like this is all parallel. In fact, if you plug like any of this uh, connector it will turn the motherboard on after the connectors that it's split to a pcie slot but otherwise though all connectors are parallel okay we are at the back side as you can see i get my i get the power of the gpu from from the board so going to the gpu just make sure that like this one, this is the first uh, GPU slot, it has to go to the first uh, GPU, don't like switch them, otherwise it's not gonna work. Alright, as you can see right there, all of them, hopefully I plugged all of them correctly, but I, I know I, I did. So I guess let's uh, try to fire it up. Alright, I got my key. monitor, keyboard, mouse, Wi-Fi. So let's uh, fire it up. Okay, it works like a charm. As you can see right there the two 1660 Super that's uh, 31 and 29 and it draws like 75 and 70 watts. So that's really efficient. Oh, we have job not found right there but this is maintaining the the hash rate right there the rest are like the 27 27 for sure that's that's the ti version so there you have it guys it's uh, working all the wire right there That's the 1200 uh, watt server power supply. So the the total wattage it draws like uh, around 850 watts from the wall, as you can see on top right there. And the 1660 Super is really quiet. Okay, there you have it guys. BTC-D37 riserless motherboard running with 8 GPU cards. And all the power of the GPU is coming from the connector from the motherboard. And it works perfectly fine.
and just make sure that to connect all the wires right here because that's uh, supplying the motherboard it draws uh, like uh, more current than uh, this wire here this uh, single wire here is just supplying the each uh, GPU card so make sure to connect all these wires here anyway thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll see you in the next one bye bye